Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Uh, David from uh, Peaceful Soundscapes here. Today, I wanted to talk about a situation that we've all faced at one time or another. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't be here, right? Breakups. And most likely, since you're joining me here today, you're on the receiving end of a breakup. It's always fun, right? But there's still hope. Uh, just because your relationship ended doesn't mean that life is over. There's, there's definitely still hope to rebuild yourself and you know get yourself back on track. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this video today to you know, go over a couple of things that might be helpful for you guys to you know find your way to a speedy recovery after this breakup. So stay tuned. So what I found is that there's a bunch of ways that people like to deal with breakups. Some of them healthy, some of them not so healthy. And today I kind of wanted to focus on one thing that I think is the most effective in the long term as far as overcoming, you know, any kind of emotional hardship, really. It really doesn't just apply to going through a breakup. Uh, it can apply to multiple things. So it's a tool I feel like, you know, we can all use to deal with, you know, uh, a bunch of different hardships that life may throw at us. So a few ways that, you know, people get tend to try to get through breakups. Uh, one, it's a really bad one, drinking or drugs horrible. I mean, I don't even really have to go into an explanation for why that's bad, uh, but it definitely is a coping mechanism and a really unhealthy coping mechanism that people use to get through a breakup. Uh, another one is uh, rushing into another relationship immediately after a breakup. Definitely a big no-no. Uh, usually you really want to take some time to you know, recover, heal yourself, get your life back into perspective, get everything back into perspective before starting a new relationship with someone else. Because I just feel like, you know, that could lead to a quick disaster. You know, you're going through a, a breakup. Uh, you, you need to give yourself a little bit more time to, you know, recalibrate yourself, uh, get your mind cleared. That way you don't rush into it and, you know, make mistakes that end up leading to another breakup, right? Another unhealthy coping mechanism that I've seen way too many times is uh, reopening the door to an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend. Another huge no-no. Uh, you definitely don't want to go backwards. You want to keep moving forwards, right? I mean, going back to an ex, a past relationship that has already ended, you should just leave it there. It's fine to be, I, I feel like, you know, I'm kind of different with that where I feel like it's fine to be friends with your ex. But I definitely don't think it's good to open the door to a new relationship with your ex. So definitely something I think, you know, I would advise people to stay away from it. I've never really seen it work out very well. Occasionally, there is exceptions always to that rule. But for me personally and in my experience and in other people's experience that I know, I haven't really seen that work out too well. So I wouldn't advise it. Uh, some better coping mechanisms uh, like working on a project. Focusing on yourself, refocusing on yourself rather than, you know, putting time and attention and effort into someone else. And also the last one is resetting yourself and rediscovering what you want out of life. That's really important. That's uh, a lot of times after a breakup, you kind of forget your sense of direction. And, you know, it's easy to because going through an emotional hardship can easily derail you. So it's easy to forget you know, what you want out of life. So it's good to take some time, reflect, do some inner reflection, find out what you want out of life again, and start to focus on that rather than the hurt that you're feeling. Because the only way to truly get over the hurt is really to take your mind away from it in a healthy way and start redirecting that energy somewhere else. So those are just a few ways, you know, that I've seen people cope uh, with uh, breakups. Some of them are healthy, some of them are really unhealthy. Uh, and the last three, the good ones, kind of tie into, you know, uh, the main focus of this video that I'm going to explain to you guys a little bit later. Uh, so breakups are really hurtful and uh, can leave you feeling really destroyed. Uh, and the question is, how do I recover from this? How do I get back on my feet and feel like me again? You know, it's a really important question. And uh, a lot of people don't know how to answer that question. So that's kind of the point of this video today. Uh, I want to try to help answer that question. And I hope, you know, that I can clear some things up for people. 
and you know help push you guys in a positive direction if you're in a really bad spot right now um, so the first thing we have to ask ourselves is why does it hurt so much now of course the obvious answer is you know because my relationship just ended and I feel betrayed and someone just hurt me but I found if you dig a little bit deeper you might find that the answer is a little bit different than you thought originally most people tend to put general labels on emotions I'm hurt I'm sad I'm happy I'm angry etc right but human emotions are a little bit more complex than that so these general labels don't really answer the specific questions that we're looking to answer you know when you ask yourself well why am I hurt that's really what you want to do is ask why because you know that you're hurt but it's really important to answer why that way you can address the problem because if you don't really know what the problem is you don't know how to fix it right so that's what we need to do first so that's what we need to do first label the feeling and then label specifically what the cause of that feeling is so when you're feeling hurt most likely it's one of two things or it could be both one, your trust. Two, your self-worth. Or it could be a combination of both. This kind of situation easily damages both of these. So it could be both. But both of those things are incredibly damaging on a deep level. And that's why breakups are so hard to get through. A lot of times when our trust is broken, and we feel betrayed. We usually tend to reflect on ourselves in a negative way. And we ask questions like, what did I do wrong? Am I not good enough? Things like that. But within those questions, you find yourself evaluating your self-worth, which highlights the fact that, in fact, your self-worth was damaged during this process. I'm sure at least some of this resonates with at least a few of you. I think all these are natural questions that arise, you know, during uh, an emotional event such as a breakup. But like I said, it highlights the fact that your self-worth was damaged during this process, which is really important. So now the question is, how do I heal? A lot of us usually will go through searching for ways or distracting ourselves from the situation, but that's not how you heal. The way to heal is to confront the issue directly, but in the correct way. So the question is, what is the correct way? Well. Everybody deals with things a little bit different, but at, at our core, we're all human beings. You know, we all experience really similar emotions and we all react to emotions in similar ways. So, you know, at our very core, the way we heal is similar as well. And what I've found to be probably the most important element that someone's lacking when they're going through a hard time is self-compassion self-love uh, going through a breakup in particular can be really destructive to your self-love and your self-compassion that's why it's important to restore this because if that's the primary thing that was damaged during the breakup that's the primary thing you need to focus on to restore yourself back to normal get your life back on track finding compassion for yourself in a time of need can be one of the most powerful tools that a person can use to heal to cope you know, you have to become your own support system, your own best friend, and restore your own self-value through validating yourself. Uh, it's a lot of times I notice people look for other people's validation to feel complete, but that's temporary. You know, if one person loves you one minute and the next they don't, then where does your self-worth go? It goes away with that person, right? So validating yourself is really important because it doesn't really matter anymore whether so-and-so loves you or cares about you the same way they did yesterday because you've already put your own value into yourself and that's something that nobody can take away from you except you. You're strengthening yourself to deal with anything that people throw at you because you've built yourself a strong foundation within yourself to deal with things. No matter who you are, all healing takes time it doesn't matter especially if you go through something that's really emotionally difficult so take your time focus on compassion rather than how hurt you feel because the more you focus on how hurt you feel the more you're going to prolong the hurt the more you're going to prolong the pain and 
I understand it's a lot easier said than done. I do. It's not easy. But during this process, you have to remind yourself that you have to focus on something positive. Focus on regrowing yourself after you've been damaged. Focus on loving yourself again. That's what you have to try to remind yourself every day. When you go through this, these feelings of pain, these feelings of hurt, that start to swarm in and overwhelm you, which they will, until you start to get over it and make headway. That's just how it is, you know? But you have to try to keep reminding yourself, even using one of your friends or family as a support system, try to keep you on track when you fall off and you feel like you're falling apart again. You know, always remind yourself of who you are and your own self-worth, your own self-value. Once you remember those things, once you feel that compassion, you'll notice that you feel restored, you feel a little bit better, and you, you can feel like you actually can overcome this. But like I said, it takes time, and it definitely does take, you know, pushing yourself a little bit to get through this pain, get through this hurt, get through this trauma. It's not easy, but it can be done. You just have to try to be strong. You have to push yourself a little bit because I've been there multiple times and you know you don't want to get out of bed you just hate life you just want to give up on everything you don't want to talk to anyone you know I do understand because I've been there uh, but at the end of the day the only person that can truly make you feel better about yourself is you so that's why it's really up to you to do some inner work and try to find self-compassion self-motivation self-love again to restore yourself and even take this practice beyond, you know, when you're going through just a hardship. Uh, you want to use this even just in your regular day-to-day -day life, you know, when you're at work and somebody's stressing you out. Maybe somebody's belittling you at work. Try to refocus and find compassion for yourself and, you know, analyze the situation and, and restore your self-worth. If somebody's taking your self-worth away, analyze the situation, go through it. Find compassion for yourself and restore that, that self-worth. Restore your self-value. I really hope this video helps some of you out there who are struggling to deal with a breakup right now because I know how hard it is. It's not easy to go through. And I don't wish it on anyone. But it is a situation that each and every one of us is going to face one day. It's just inevitable. It comes with love. It comes with growth. It comes with growing up and becoming more mature. You're going to find people that you think that you loved or that thought that they loved you and it doesn't work out that way. So we're all going to face this situation eventually. Uh, and it's an unfortunate thing, but it's just a part of life. And I feel like it's a good thing to know the best way to get through it. You know, uh, I've seen a lot of different people give advice on this, but I definitely feel like compassion for yourself is got to be one of the most powerful ways to get through a breakup so that's why i wanted to share this video with you guys today really hope that uh helps some of you get through uh dark times that you're going through right now and uh, get you back on your feet i'd really be honored if this video did help somebody get back on their feet and inspired somebody to you know push themselves in a positive direction uh, if you like this video uh feel free please you know uh like and subscribe and uh, if you guys have any comments or suggestions of, you know, some other topics that you would like me to cover, feel free to comment below. Uh, I'd definitely be happy to do that for you. I'm always open to suggestions for other videos if you guys like this content. Uh, so thanks for joining me. I wish peace and wellness to you all. Thanks.